Hey beauties and welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So in today's video we are going to be looking at a, a gel polish brand from Amazon called Yu Yuki Star. Yuki Star I think is pronounced. Uh, they kindly sent me this um, through the post uh, a couple of not that a couple of weeks ago, not that long ago, but a couple of weeks ago, um, asking me to review it, and of course I said yes. I was more than happy to. I do have a code, and I will leave that down below in the description box. Uh, but anyway, yes, they sent me this uh, little a gel polish set. It comes with I think it's twenty colors, and then and they're five milliliters each, and then a top, a base coat, and a matte top coat. Um, these this set is kind of like uh, autumn um fall sort of color colors and vibes um i was very happy with the color selection in this there's some beautiful colors in here um so yeah let's just get right into the swatching so each um gel polish i found that they were very creamy and they weren't too thick but they weren't too thin the viscosity viscosity i think it's called um was really nice to work with uh they were full coverage and uh, they cured with no problems whatsoever i also used the matte top coat and the shiny top coat um on the swatches and they all it all seemed to come out really really great uh i have no complaints i did notice though that uh one of the glitters did seem very uh runny almost it was not very runny but it did feel a bit runny uh so bear that in mind um but that's usually the case when it comes to gel polish with glitter in because uh you want to be able to it's either too thick or it's too thin i've never seen a gel polish with glitter in that's like not had like a bit of fall out you know uh but anyway uh going moving on now to why i have not been around for uh about two weeks so um i don't know i guess i just tried to do too much at once and i had to like real life of course comes before youtube as much as i, I love you guys and i've missed you guys um i have been dealing with some stuff irl i'm okay everyone's okay it's just uh getting back into routine with the kids and uh trying to sort out other things uh in real life i'm not going to go into those details also uh, i accidentally uh cut my thumb and i have had a nightmare of it trying to heal and i kept picking at the skin and uh, just kept playing with it and it just it just made it worse that's why there's a plaster on it today uh it's still healing but because it's on my thumb as well and it's on my dominant hand i seem to just every time i was using my thumb it just seemed to make the cut worse um so <laughs> i kind of felt down about that and i didn't really want to put like a scabby looking finger in the in the actual video so i've kind of yeah i've been feeling a bit like mm, i don't really want to do a video if my thumb looks like disgusting i know it's a really stupid reason but i hope you understand what i mean along with other things of course but i decided you know what i can always just do a video with a with a plaster on so today i'm going to be doing nine fingers out of my ten i'm going to leave my thumb alone until it's fully healed but it is on my non it is on my dominant hand so i don't tend to do this hand very often anyway only when i'm doing press on so it's not like i'm doing a big thing here uh but yeah other than that um, yeah, I'm sorry that I've been gone. I am going to try my best to get back into the rhythm. So yeah, just bear with me and I promise you I will get back into recording and uh, putting up videos uh, twice a week. It's just taking a bit of time. I hope you guys understand. I know most of you do understand and I'm so grateful for you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. But anyway, I'm going to let you watch the rest of these Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to let you watch the rest because we're ne almost nearly done. So, um, yeah, the gel polishes this set, I think, are really nice. They are not that expensive, neither. So I'd highly recommend them. Um, you can have a look. I will leave a link and everything down below. So, again, thank you, Yuki Star, for uh, sending me these gel polishes. I really did have a lot of fun. I love the fact that there's a different variety of nudes and, uh, like... Uh, autumn sort of colours and more neutered colours along with a black and a white. I mean, yeah, I think it's absolutely great. So I did notice that the matte top coat, it has like a cloudy sort of look to it, but it is, um, it, it does do the matte effect. And I noticed that the top coat was a teeny bit thinner than others that I've used, but it didn't affect, it didn't like do anything like bad. It was just, yeah. So anyway, I've used my full cover gel, uh, was it double XL? Uh, tips that I got off of AliExpress. That's what I'm using today to create some press-ons. 
Sorry, that was my little boy in the background. Then he come up behind me and said, bang, <laughs> he's playing. Anyhow, uh, you can, of course, put the this design on top of poly gel, acrylic, hard gel, anything you like, along with, um, you can also do this on like uh, the lazy girl method if you choose to do that, or the jelly tip method, you know, where you use like build a gel to secure on your press-ons. I just pre-made them and then stuck them on after. Uh, but yeah, you can do it anyway. There is really no harm in it at all. So anyway, I decided to do the first set, which is my uh, right hand, and I done, of course, four nails. I did use a dotting tool and a liner brush for these nails to do these nails all together. So I do end up doing two different sets. Because it is October and I love Halloween, I decided to do a Halloween set along with a autumn set as well. So the first hand we're doing is going to be a Halloween set and you will see uh, as we go on what I mean by Halloween. Um, I hope everyone is uh, excited for Halloween. I kind of love Halloween. It's just, I don't know, I just love it. Uh, so that first ghost, as you, if you couldn't already tell, we're drawing ghosts. Uh, that first ghost looked a bit like a a tadpole is what I'm going to call it. Um, I do end up changing it a little bit because it did look very much like a tadpole. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, uh, as you can see, it's it, 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 it looks like a tadpole. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyhow, moving on to the next thing. Um, <laughs> so I decided to do a nail with random ghosts haunting it, I guess. And then I done two French tip nails with some uh, blood on and then also I writ boo on another nail with some blood dribbling down so yeah I had fun doing the set and I really like the set and I kind of want to do a different uh variant of it if if I if you guys don't mind I have a few little ideas it's not too like out there uh but I love Halloween nails and we don't get to do them all year around even though we can we don't always get to do them all year around so I definitely want to uh do a couple of different sets if I am able to <laughs> So first thing I done was I put that beautiful nude colour down first, I cured in my nail lamp for 60 seconds and then I went in and I painted those ghosts. Then whilst that was curing I writ boo with the black gel polish and a liner brush onto the this nail here. So the way I done it was um, I kept turning the nail as you can see and I kind of used that to guide my brush. Um, along the actual lettering and I found that was easier to to do for writing because writing with gel polish on a nail is not that easy um but yeah then once I was done I cured and then uh I went in and done the french tips and stuff like that so basically uh between each layer always cure always make sure you cure um but yeah it was a pretty easy and simple set to do and I'd highly recommend you guys try it and if you do don't forget to tag me on instagram if you do try it but yeah um I just, I don't know, does anyone else love Halloween? Sorry, uh, my kids are interrupting, so I'm going to babble a little bit here and there. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the O, oh, I just basically, well, all of the letters, I just kept turning the nail and sort of letting the the nail sort of guide the, the, the brush for the letters. But this was actually pretty simple. Um, and then once I'd finished doing this detailing, I then cured in my nail lamp for 60 seconds before going in then and doing the blood droplets on the nail. So as you can see now, I've cured the ghost and I'm going back in with that black gel polish and I am putting the eyes and the mouth on the ghosts. I will also cure that again then before moving on to the French tip nails, I believe. So the French tip nails, um, you can use uh, French tip stickers to guide your, your line. Or you can just, if you have a steady hand, you can, of course, draw your French tip lines on yourself. It might take a couple of tries to try and get the French tip um, perfect. Trust me, I when I first started, it was a nightmare to do the French tip. Um, but as you see here, I literally put dots to guide myself. And then I just use the shorter brush... Um, bristle brush I yeah the shorter one <laughs> the shorter liner brush I can't get my words out tonight what is wrong with me uh to then draw the French line as you can see and then I just put the the brush across to check that it was level before going in then with the actual gel polish brush itself from the bottle and just gent uh, carefully and like gently going into all those crevices to paint uh the French tip on and as you can see it was pretty easy to do but it it's not as easy as it looks sometimes and you do have to redo it a few times but there's no shame in that so don't worry. So once I'd cured that I then went in with the red and I lined the 
uh, French tip again with the red gel polish before going in with a dotting tool, placing some dots and also the blood droplets down. Um, so yeah, I like this, by the way. It was really cool. I think I've seen it on Instagram. I will hopefully try and find the reference picture that I've seen. But I absolutely love this. So here I am now just going in with the uh, dotting tool. And then what I do is once I've made those dots, I then get my liner brush and I use that as a guideline and I drag up the gel polish. It doesn't have to be perfect. The great thing about Halloween nails is you don't have to be perfect because like blood droplets and like tar sort of looking booze, they don't you know they don't have to be perfect um so yeah i enjoyed this doing this but once i'd done this i then put it in my nail lamp cured fully for 60 seconds before going in with some top coat So the next set of nails that I do now is uh, I paint all of the nails that same nude colour. Um, this one was pretty simple, i got to be honest, but it was an autumn set and I really did like the turnout. Not, it wasn't perfect, but it was, yeah, it's something that I definitely like doing and I definitely want to try something else but a bit different again. So I did go in then, once I'd cured that first layer, I went in with some base coat before going in with that gel polish that had glitter in that like autumn sort of copper looking colors um so yeah i went in with that then and i just dragged it through the base coat and let the base coat spread the glitter out i kind of wanted it sparse and like all over the place and then um i before curing i stuck in some of those leaf decals that i got off of uh Shein. And I cured into in my nail lamp then before going in and adding top coat and encapsulating them. And that was pretty much the set. It was so simple to do, so easy, and it looks really cute as well. So, um, yeah, I, I will just let you guys watch. And my kids are screaming in the background. <laughs> I'll let you guys watch and I'll be back in a bit. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
once I had stuck my nails down with those like little gluey tabs that you can get, um, I then went in with some cuticle oil that I got from a previous kit. And here is the end result, guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to keep on smiling. Do not forget to stay safe. And uh, I promise I will get back to recording and uploading more frequently guys I promise but until then I will see you all in my next video bye guys This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose